Hey, he actually got into the torch. I don't think there's really any point to that, but uh, it's there. So, there's only two chests in the rest of these doors. The other ones hold items, more or less, and one holds something special. Which I may as well show off to something special, now that I think about it. So, pro tip for dealing with these guys, always deal with the shield guy first. They are far more annoying to kill. Uh, he activated for some reason. I'm out of stamina. Which is actually really bad. How I did not dodge that is beyond me. Okay, so if I take one hit from this Rune Sentinel, I'm dead. Just keep that in mind while I fight this out. I whiffed on that one pretty bad. I misread that completely. Okay, so I can take a lay attack from these guys. That's a happy. Let's see if I can get him over here. The reason for that is to unlock that door. Which unlocks another rune sentinel, which is actually kind of bad, but... Is there an item in there? Yes, there is actually. Crap. Required sentinel. And shield guy first, as is the unspoken rule. And now Rune Sentinel. That's how you clear that room. Like a man who knows how he's playing the game. You almost think I knew what I was doing. Oh boy. I've done this for practice several times in the past, by the way, so I am really comfortable de dealing with Rune Sentinels now. At least one at a time. More than one at a time, it's a little bit, uh, how should I say, ridiculous. But one at a time is no problem for me. This room is also pretty empty. But yeah, this room here has something very special. What you do is you fall in here, and you turn around and you grab this. And there's a bonfire, because there's nowhere a way out of here, because they designed this area really well. They're geniuses, if you will. And you walk around the corner and there's Young this guy. We meet a second time. Perhaps you will yet traverse the dark. That's right, never bam in the gulch crap. If you truly seek the dark, then we will surely meet again. 
All right then. We will meet again somewhere, sometime. So this is the third place you can meet him. I apparently forgot. I skipped the second place you can meet him. Oh crap! Can't even remember if I got that key or not. I must have. I think I did. Yeah, that's the key. Forgotten key? I just never talked to him. Because I am good at the game. Well, whatever. I'm going to hit the jeweler real quick and cash in these souls. Cash these in for some cash money. If you will. Oh, that 15 frames. Is the jewel of life. It is a shard. To see However. So let's upgrade that real quick. So I believe we're up to 10 now. We'll be up to 11 soon. So what you do for our level ups. 30 endurance would be pretty good. Would be pretty good indeed. So then get aim for that. Can I plus them not my mace yet? I should be able to, I got the uh I knew There's my rice here. Oh yeah. And then I just need to slab it. I'll be around if you make it back. Which will require a little bit of a boost. Um, use one of these, that should give me the boost I need. 2000 exactly. What? There we go. Perfect weapon. I'll be around if you make it back. Slayer Mace is doing as much damage as it will ever do. I'm going to really quickly go back to Black Gulch. <clears throat> and there's a reason for this. It's not just because I want to torture myself. Oh no. There is indeed a reason. Let's try to quick blow that. Yeah. I think I'll try swapping out the Vengarls. His gloves aren't as good, but... I actually like Vengarls. Like, look look at the protection. Just look at it. I think it more fire protection, which is pretty good. Lose a little bit of magic, but eh. Who cares, I'm Vengarl. Vengarl set, really nice. Which reminds me, I should probably talk to Vengarl. some point. So yeah, fun fact, you fall right here. Then nothing can get you, really. And you open this door. Because why not? And it's the third time. We meet again, you this guy's are kind of ruining this, but... Seeker of dark, giver of dark. If you seek true dark, I will grant it to you as much as you desire. Well then, is dark what you want? Eh, no pilgrims of the dark for me. So yeah, now I've met him three times, I can join his covenant, if I so wish. And that's the homework bone out of here. What his covenant is, it's basically a challenge covenant. You're given uh, access to free dungeons. They're not very long, they're fairly short, but they're just filled with freaking phantoms and they're terrible. They really are, they're, they're absolutely dreadful. Really, really annoying. Brutally hard. 
Like, the first one's not too bad, but, like, the second one is pretty annoying because there's mages and havels. Well, not havels, but turtle knights. The third one has havels. The third one is the worst. The third one's literally just a callback to Dark Souls 1 in the worst possible way. I should really speak to Vengarl. So I'm going to do that real quick. Let's go speak to Vengarl since I kind of vanquished his body. Forgot to do that. And that should pretty much wrap it up for uh, all the optional shit that I skipped over last time. Assuming I can get the Vengarl. Folk dying. He's not that far away, but... Getting to him may be a slight annoyance. There you are, Rangarl. Back again? Well, this is a pleasant surprise. I like how you have your helmet and your helmet's still there. Ah, it was you who vanquished my body. It is my body, you see, and I can sense what happens to it. I do not mourn for it. Good riddance. If you wish for help, summon me. I'm rusty in battle, but we'll fight by your side. All right. So I believe Vengarl sells his sword, the Red Dress Scimitar, which is a very nice scimitar, I guess, but not super interested in it. He also sells his Red Rest Sword, which has an A scaling off strength, which could be very good. But it's not a mace. Also sells some uh, gold pyzmezins, great arrows, and some other bullshit. Anything else I you have to say? Lie. Sometimes I, uh, I think I you're repeating yourself. Out, but Farewell. I will retire. I might as well homework bone out of here. I don't feel like walking back. I'm using a lot of these. It's fine though, because it's close to the end of the game. Might as well start using them. Like we're three quarters of the way through. More or less. Like I said, this final castle is something. So now we go back to here. We don't go to King's Gate, because the other bonfire just takes you to the challenge area. And there's literally, like, no way out from there. Outside of warping again. There's a lot of stunning signs here. So I get chased by a bunch of uh, rune sentinels if I stick around. So I'm just gonna book it over here. Grab this, wherever it is. May still be getting followed, which is not good. They won't follow me for too long, though. I mean, there's a chest in that room I kind of want to get, but, uh, yeah. Just an FYI, I'm not going into the acid to grab those items. It's not worth the risk. I'm not going to waste my time going for items in, like, acid. That's a silly waste of time. I'm also not grabbing that. Whatever that is, I think it's probably souls. Come on. You are slow. And you paid for it. What is this guy doing? Ah, oh, crap, I got with the air one. I was expecting to get hit by a tip there. Come on. You think you're hard enough? Start coin killing floor, why not? Come here. You really gotta guard that doorway really good, aren't you? Hope you feel proud of yourself. Because you're dead now. Good job, idiot. 
So I'm gonna get invaded from behind the second I cross this threshold here. And the way you deal with that is you literally just uh, keep going and pretend you don't get invaded. Works really well. Like 80% of the time. Like he won't be able to really chase you down here, so you're more or less safe. Like he can't really do much from where he is. And you activate this little secret wall here. And then you're like, hey look, bonfire. So even if he does manage to get down here, I have a bonfire. Like what's he gonna do? Nothing apparently. Yeah, this invader around here is one of the weirdest ones because I don't honestly think he leaves that room and that guy had a bad day. So you can literally just walk up here and talk to the queen if you want. You have He'll never chase you. Journey, There's totally a wall in front of me. I am Nishandra, queen of you know it should be an open space. Yeah, it's a, true a complete invisible wall. The weight of their souls. The last king of this land, King Vendrick, as he was called. He found the strength to rule his people, and when the undead were born, cursed. He found more strength to face them. Sure he did. And he never took the true throne. Visit Vendrick. Oh boy. We have no need for two rulers. That's the end of her dialogue, if I remember correctly. So basically she wants us to go and kill Vendrick because uh, we are the one true ruler. And here's a boss fight. So yeah, that, that fam guy's still alive. He is um, returning to his world now. So yeah, it's Dragon Rider again. Please enjoy. Totally not lazy design. That guy likes to uh, shoot great arrows into my back. He will stop though. It's important to know he will stop, unless I get stunned like so. And then he'll shoot me in the face. That guy's an asshole. If I die in this fight, it's because I don't get him down to half health fast enough. Because great arrows suck. Like, there's pretty much nothing I can do against it until I get him down to half health. If I'm lucky enough with my circle strafing, I can completely avoid them. But outside of that, there's no real strategy for uh, not getting blasted in the side of the head with an arrow. However, there's a pretty good strategy for walking around those guys and running to the boss store. Thank Christ for that bonfire. It saves you going through the poison room. And I don't think these guys will even chase you all the way to the fog door either. Like, they're pretty lazy. So now that we've got these guys to have health, the air one comes down. So here's where this fight can get terrible. So what you really want to do is you want to eliminate these guys as quickly as possible. Obviously. I can't believe I did not dodge that. Can't believe I did not dodge that either. Can't believe it's not a dodge. It's like I can't believe it's not a fire, except worse. 
Okay, I, I can believe that one. That one's believable. Really hoping for a kill there. The thing is, I really need to get a kill on one of these guys. Crap, card broke. I need to build up that distance. Do not need that though. One down. And I got stabbed. But this guy's way easier. You'll see what I mean in a second. I'm so happy to drink Lake Shield is so good. Yeah, this guy just gets chunked. He might as well be half health. Because, yeah. It's still a hard fight. It's two Dragon Riders. Which isn't a hard boss in the first place. Like, the hardest part of that fight is uh, surviving the first phase, as far as I'm concerned.